Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be going over a very good anti-Devil Joe Longsword build. Now, this may not be the end-all, be-all of damage for the Longsword, but it does really high damage with really high crit chance and will allow you to have high damage upkeep against Devil Joe due to some of the armor skills that we have in this build. So, as you can see, we still do quite a bit of damage with high crit chance. So let's go ahead and go over this build. Now, we do have two builds in this, and we'll go over some of the skills required for this. Now, that being said, some of this is personal preference. You are welcome to change this around as you please. Uh, but at least we'll go over the skills that will make your damage upkeep uh, a lot higher on Devil Joe. So... This particular build is based around the Defined Slasher uh, because Devil Joe does do Elemental Blights, which removes your basically elemental effects on your weapons. That's something you won't have to worry about with this build because we're using an Elementless build. So we're using the Divine Slasher. And the second build goes over a different weapon set because uh, I know a lot of people may have not done the arena quests or do not want to have to deal with it. Uh, so we've got another set as well. You can also use any elementless sword that you want in this particular build if you do not have the Divine Slasher, but you still like this build. Let's go ahead and go into the actual decorations to go over all the armors and skills. So what we've got here is we've got... This is a very, very, very mixed armor set. So just keep that in mind. And uh, we've got Iron Skin level 3, which prevents defense down. Now, this is very good because Devil Joe will apply a defense down with its saliva very often in a fight. And this means that you won't have to stop and get rid of defense down. And you probably won't get one shot if you actually do get defense down. So this is a very good skill to have. Then we've got Critical Eye level 3, which gives us 10% affinity. Weakness Exploit level 3, which gives us 50% affinity. So we're running a total of 80% affinity with this build. Actually, more than that. I'm sorry. We're running... Um, yeah, 80% because we are also using, uh, let's see here, Maximum Might level 2, which is courtesy of the Nergigante Helm. We've got Handicraft level 3, which requires, um, which you require to actually get to the white level of sharpness. Then we've got Tremor Resistance level 2, which nullifies minor ground tremors and reduces the effects of major ground tremors. I would turn this up to 3 if I had the gem, uh, but I do not currently have a ground tremor gem, or tremor resistance gem rather. And because um, Devil Joe does do a lot of ground tremors, which will make your life a nightmare. Uh, we've also got Maximum Might level 2, which increases affinity by 20%. Already said that. Attack level 2, Focus level 1, which is just a side effect of the Greaves that we're or the belt that we're using. Uh, protective Polish, and then Non Elemental Boost. Now, as I mentioned, it doesn't seem like this would do a lot of damage, but since we have such high crit chance, you are going to be critting pretty much all the time which increases your damage by 25% just there. And then we've got the Elementless on here, and it's just very good, especially with that white level of sharpness. Uh, so this is more focused around just the raw damage of the blade rather than boosting anything else. Um, so our equipment is the Nergigante Helm Beta. We've got the Kushala Sista Beta, the Kaiser Vambraces Beta, the Damascus Coil Alpha, which gives us our Iron Skin, and then we've got a Iron Skin gem socketed in there. Now, you can use a different belt and socket Iron Skin into that if you want, uh, but the focus on here is just, you know, it's just a little bit of a bonus. Now, um, perhaps if you wanted more attack, you could maybe go ahead and put in something like the Val Hazak, uh, or even the Xenojiva Spine to get rid of Blight Resistance. You can do that if you want, and then socket in some Defense Jewels, so that's an option there. And you also get another two-slot gem slot. Um, but since we're using Elementless and we're close range, we really shouldn't be getting hit by the rocks, which apply the Blights. And um, we don't have to worry about the Dragon Blight because we are running an Elementless build. So it's pretty darn good uh, as far as the actual items that you can use, like the Affinity Boost or anything like that. You can use whatever of those you want, like the Vitality Mantle I would highly recommend probably. So there's a couple different things that you can actually use on this build to kind of change it around to your personal style. You can swap out for protective gems and stuff like that. Let's actually go over the decorations we've got here real quick. Upset decorations. So we've got these expert jewels in here. So if you take out these and put in some protection gems, you'll still be running 70% affinity, which is pretty damn good. And um, then you can put in either vitality. You can put in attack jewels to boost your attack more. If you put in uh, three more attack jewels, if you happen to have those, I do not. I've not gotten a single attack jewel the entire time I've played this game for 450 hours. Oh my god. Um, hashtag venting over. Anyways, um, so you could do that and then still get up to, what is it, 75% uh, affinity with more attack. 
So that's something I recommend if you have that, uh, or you can go for a more defensive build if you so desire. Fortunately, I don't have more attack gems. Now, the next set isn't going to be quite as powerful, and we'll go over everything in the set in just a second. It is more focused around elemental build, so we'll go ahead and just go over the damage here. It's not terribly weaker than the first one, but it's, uh, it's, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and just go over it here real quick. So that's the damage you're going to be doing with your actual um, Head Smasher of Death. Let's go ahead and go into this. Now, you can use this particular weapon that we're using right now, which is the Exterminator's Eggs. E eggs. <laughs> the Exterminator's Eggs. Oh, my goodness. The Exterminator's Edge, which is the Nergagante Tree weapon. Um, otherwise, you can use a, uh, a Thunder weapon if you so desire. Uh, he's equally weak to Thunder and Dragon, so just keep that in mind. And there's nothing specific in this set that dictates whether you use Thunder or Dragon. So... Uh, let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, equipment here. We're using the Wrath Soul Helm Beta, the Rathalos Male Beta. Uh, the Wrath Soul gives us critical boost and uh, an iron skin. We, we socketed iron skin in there. Then we've got critical eye and weakness exploit on here on the Rathalos Male Beta. We've got the Kaiser Van Bracers Beta, which gives us one level of weakness exploit. And we got another critical boost in there. We've got the Xeno Jiva Spine, which gives us uh, two levels of Blight Resistance. We've got another one socketed in there. We've also got Critical Boost socketed in there. Then you've got your Diablo Screeves, which reduces Tremor Resistance and gives you Critical Eye Level 2 uh, from the gems that we've got in there. And we've got the Exploiter Charm, which gives us Weakness Exploit Level 2. So as far as our decorations go, nothing too crazy. We've got Defense Lock Gems in here so that we've got the Rathalos Mastery, which increases our um, damage by 3% when we crit. And we've got uh, Weakness Exploit, level 3, Iron Skin, level 3, Blight Resistance, level 3, Critical Eye, 3, Critical Boost, 3, and Tremor Resistance, level 2. Uh, so the Defense Lock here, I've got socketed in with gems. Now you can use either the Defense Lock or Protective, um, not, uh, or the Protection Jewel, or Vitality. Really up to you how you want to run these three gems. Um, as the same goes for the Expert Jewels, if you want to run more attack than crit, you can happily do that if you so desire uh, this is just the way that i'm personally running it right now mainly because i don't have attack gems um, but otherwise it's a it's a pretty decent set and does okay damage as well definitely the elementless is going to be your best because you're not going to have to well you're not going to have to worry about elemental blights in this build because of the blight resistance from the xeno jiva belt but you are doing a little bit less damage. Obviously, the Elementless builds always have really, really high damage. And thankfully, with the really nice Divine Slasher, there is no negative affinity on it. So it just does really good damage pretty much all the time. And I love it so very, very much. But anyways, those are the two sets that we've got. And I completely whiffed on that because I'm awesome. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I am going to be doing a ton of live streaming of Devil Joe, and I've got a couple other sets. Note to self, shut off your phone before you start recording. Uh, but I just wanted to go over some optional weapons that you could be using for this build. Uh, you could be using the Hazak Grocer 2, which can get up to the white level of sharpness. And with the higher dragon element, it's you're going to be doing more damage than with the actual Exterminator's Edge. So keep that in mind, uh, that this may actually be better for the build if you have that, so you don't have to use the Exterminator's Edge. And you can also be using the Toby Kadachi Tree, uh, which has 15% affinity. So with the particular build that we're using, you're going to be hitting for about 95% affinity. And this can get up to the white level of sharpness, which increases your damage even further. And it has high thunder elements. So very, very cool. If you want to run like a damn near 100% crit build, this is going to be the way to go. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to go over those two options real quick. Um, so yeah, I really like these builds. Uh, obviously, if you want to go for a crazy high damage build, I do have a just elementless, just high damage, no shits given build, which you can feel free to use if you so desire. You can leave this build in the cards below. I did make a previous video on it, and you guys can kind of swap it around for how you desire. But we'll go over the equipment real quick. And you'll see that it is going to be doing quite a bit more damage, um, but you're going to have to deal with ground tremors and all sorts of other things as well, defense down. Uh, but it's completely up to you if you want to actually use this. Uh, so we're using attack boost level 7, weakness exploit level 3, handicraft level 3, critical eye level 2, critical boost 2, protective polish level 1, and non-elemental boost. We are using the divine slasher. And you can see the equipment here is the dragon king eye patch, pretty standard. 
Dober Mail Beta, Kaiser Van Braces Beta, Nergigante Coil, and Death Stench Heal. Now there's a couple ways you can actually swap this out, um, but you can go ahead and check out that video if you want to see this in use. It's a really fun build. I absolutely love it. It's my go-to longsword build most of the time. But anyways, that is all I've got for today's episode. If anybody has any additions or changes they would like to see on the build, feel free to leave them in the comments below. A lot of these are all personal preference, and it's really fun to kind of get an idea of how other people like to play each class. So sharing is caring, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free to join the Discord, which is in the description below. We do have a Monster Hunter World builds channel in there as well, so feel free to share those. Um, if you so desire. But anyways, that is all I've got. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share support it, smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.